coming into this first game of the best of five. Slam into the wall. Perfect's in a bit of trouble, and he doesn't have flash. He's going to go down to the six already. Chases and gets punished. And what? speaking of wins, we're just going to face check and die. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what they're doing, but Guma has two kills now. Really on in this game. Yeah. So perfect Steph at least felt like it could be the result of like obviously his wild CS that he could have gotten. He's only gone four. That's not good. Yeah, nice little angle here onto the Senna. Barrel almost definitely gonna have to flash. Doesn't even bother. He's just gonna take the death and die. Down he goes. That's a BDD. He's just gonna be swept away. And he is super low barrel as well. A big bop coming over the top, but I think they have the chase potential. One more auto would do it. Baker will get the kill. They have gone very deep for this though. Oh. Wow. Again, doesn't have the flip. Yeah, there's Caria and he just swings by, hits him once, drops the ignite, and gets the kill. And Death doesn't. Meanwhile, there's a fight going on between the supports, and Kerry is winning that one big time. Can he actually get the kill? Oh. Yes, he can. And now he's on the run here, might be in a bit of trouble, especially with the TP coming in. But Perfect basically just TPs for nothing, and they eventually kill Kerry while Faker's solo farming bot. You know, this gold lead that is being found is Kerry is just. And nobody gets to play the game against his fed Ziggs. Meanwhile, Barrel, well, he's in the game, but he's not really, as he's dead again for the fourth time at 13 minutes. And there's the Satchel coming in, maybe asleep here. There's the Flash as well. He does have teammates nearby, but not quite close enough, as Guma finally does get punished. And now Oder will go down as well. And T1 dead. And now Baker gets the scoop here on a Pioshik. Nice Senna ult to help out. And BDD is desperate, but the Condemned comes in. And the knock into the wall It's exactly what you were talking about. You're just up against the wall forever. And now the vein is going way too deep for this, actually, and will get punished. BDD will survive. Is that, BDD doesn't die. Oh is that enough? Eating the summoners as they're trying to get on top of Zeus, and they might just do that, but who cares about Zeus when Gooba is this bed on the Ziggs? And you got the one carry, but you didn't get the other two. BDD desperate to try to take something down, but guys, this game is over, and it is out as T1 are looking to take down game number one in flying fashion here in this finals of the regional qualifiers. It's one last ditch attempt from Def, but this one is done, so 26 and a half minutes, and game one goes to T1. Yeah, because of how the game played out, like maybe in a game where Guma doesn't. So we don't see what we saw in game one at the beginning of that. The flash from owner, the flash on in for BDD, and he gets first blood. Could try to go for it though. The flash on in the Ornhorn gonna be blown here as well. Perfect, not even bothering to flash, and it's going to bite. He lives just barely and eventually does go down to carry his auto barrel as well. It's going to bite the dust eventually as Baker comes in, just collects a kill. <laughs> One face. <laughs> yeah, only question is who gets the kill, it will be the vine. During this mid wave, which does give T1 the space, Zayus on the flank has his ultimate available. BDD looking for the knockup, and now the Ornhorn's going to be called. Nice little angle, but a big engage from Barrel into the equalizer oh! and impale. It's just a massive wobble that comes in. T1 are trying to turn something. They do get the one kill and a massive Bartolt as well. But at the end of the day, do they have to follow up damage to kill any of these low health members? Is the question. Guva trying his best to do exactly that, but he can't get the one kill. Carry is going to go down, and BDE is still alive. And it's Gooby, you see your bus, but he is gone as KT win a gigantic team fight. BDD can cancel Fakers, right? So if BDD decides to teleport in, there isn't really a whole lot that Faker can do besides try to damage it as much as possible as Barrel does not care. For the Wombo Combo once again, Equalizer comes down. It's a perfect angle from Perfect. And T1 are burnt to a crisp as KT. I mean, with the Baron just trying to really escalate your gold lead, and now trying to flash on a guy who's invisible, and owner has to go in. Bit of damage, the Ziggs ult over the top, and they finally do get perfect. It's a trade one for one, but Baker is probably going to go down. This is a pretty decent Bartle, but it's only going to delay the inevitable as Baker, super low. He's in the back line, gets ulted on. Down he will go. It's a triple. Well, this is just insult to injury. Guma doesn't have flash, and I think eventually he should die. There you go. Pioshik just going to pop him on the head with a claw. Now that the Kai'Sa is online. Not the best timing there, and now this fight is very broken up. That's a double impale, and both of these guys are just dead. As is just caught in the crossfire. He's going to be going down as well. KT is crossing their eyes. 
crossing their T's, dotting their I's, rather. As Faker is still just holding the wave, trying to keep the game alive. He's just building stacks, right? It's what Nasus does. <laughs> <laughs> still farming. <laughs> trying his best. I mean, the Nasus can be pretty funky like this. The ult will be committed to as BDD has had enough. And uh, they do take him down. He was there in game one as well, but he was the only one in game one. So now well, they're trying to keep him out of the pit. And there is the turn. A lot of wombo combo bouncy castle behind the wall there. Dead. Yeah, BDD goes down. And Baker's pretty tanky of being impaled, but Pyoshin getting low. I think the wallets might just be a bit too heavy, though. A pretty decent fight, all things considered. But the wallets are there for the side of KT. For to try to save him, but he will go down anyway, and BDD will survive. The wallets are just gigantic right now on the side of KT. They take down the two carries, and that might just do it. KT Rolster looking for their first win in the series. Say is desperate to just try to stop the wave from going down, but the TP will come in. And it's only Caria. And the Telecom War continues for this final world spot as the Nexus falls during game number two. The Nexus will fall, and we do, in fact, he definitely has may, maybe too much for one man. I think Zipper comes out again as an answer into Ziggs. We'll see him. He's alive for a very long period of time, but eventually does go down. First blood goes to Faker. And all gonna be thrown out here by Gooba, who is level six. As T1 will look to push them away and to come in, gets the Q down. Guma will flash away, some mines on the ground, but one Q could do it, or just an auto, as Deft is just gonna take him down, and Guma does gonna try to come in here. The knockout comes in, there's that TP you guys are talking about, and now Faker in a really rough spot. He's gonna get Bartle, but there's really nobody to save him, as Barrel takes a bit of damage, but will survive. Actually, a stop watch, and he will be going down. That's a kill already on a Deft, as Zeus just got in and murdered him, as that is three to the side of T1 and they will take it down. T1 starting up Nash and I don't think there's anything. And, and he's dead. Uh, now we're gonna have people trying to get close and that's the issue with the Sivir. He's able to stop some, but he has to get so close to the fire. Impunity, I say that. Got the ultimate, I mean, he's just gonna use it here on the Jax. He's just frontlining, he just, even if he went down, this is a good trade and he's still alive, still getting hook shots in, still getting stuns down. Little engage here from Barrel, but at the end of the day, he uses his satchel defensively, and Barrel's dead. And the timing this time with the Bard is fantastic, as Death will actually run away. Caria getting pretty close to the sun, and now it's Zeus who does take that magical journey in and is looking to end this game. I see one a little bit low on the health bars, but there's the knock up, the stun onto perfect. He's got a flash away. Zeus is not going to let them get away. At this point in time, Depth's desperate to try to do something, but he will be taken down, and so will BDD. So those two short-range carries. Third Nexus is going to fall. T1 going to go up to match point. Not a guaranteed win for them. I still think this game just left as well. As it ends up, Gooba topping the damage charts. For game number four, let's do it and see what happens. Let's see if he, he's right next to Faker. He cannot TP in here, and there's a lot of damage already in a perfect. As owner tanks it up, he flashes away. Pioshik makes his way down, but it's a clean. Comes through, but Guma's in a lot of trouble. Barrel getting under that uh, tower, though. Takes a ton of damage. Does not matter. They bring everybody in here. But now the follow-up from T1. They get the kill onto the tree. Bill gets knocked into the wall. You see Carrion trying desperately to save him. And the Poppy doesn't have much damage, but it is enough, especially with uh, posting around here. And now Carrion uh, is not going to overstay their welcome. Perfect. Okay. He's making a play in mid, and Guma has flash, but he says, well, I'm not going to get out of here. Nearly kills Dev. Just flashing and Nimbus cloaking and trying to get out of here, but Carrion says, no. Oh, baby. <laughs> He's got the damage. The burst. Too much, and now Deft in a lot of trouble. John, the Impale not gonna hit anything. The cast is excellent, and down will go Caria. And Owner is left alone as well. KT Roaster, pick up two, but now T1 trying to get something BDD. Uh, Braum, that's not the best. Owner trying to get in with the Impale, but Faker gets cast into the team and left alone, and he should be going down. There he goes. Perfect, trying to follow up. But he already did his job. Comes in, and Zeus will get the kill, but down will go Faker. Owner is so low, but T1, they are kiting this one out in a very scrappy fight. As the down he will go. Now the front line up, cast his cask again. And Zeus is on the backside. He's alone, and he will be taken down. KT, they find the angle once again. Um, he will take a while to go down, and finally they do get them. him, rather, as the flash Yoshi. underneath the turret. Pilsic going deep. 
As now Hunter trying desperately to get that finish off, but he will not be able to. Take a look at this fight, and once again, Karia, this time he's gonna be the target, and down he goes, just like that, right as the Baron spawns. And they say, okay. Threes. Barrel on Perfect also should be looking to play. Uh, they don't know. Oh! He's in the pit, and it goes to Pilsik anyway. Oh, that was looking so disastrous, but Pilsik quick on to the trigger, and he gets that one down. Zeus is in here as well and uh well he's he's not very long for this one his bdd is also coming on over barrel gets over the wall zeus gets denied from jumping over the wall and kt have baron gets in a bit of trouble but the clutch comes in he's okay DDD. 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 gets into that back line and decimates the rest of t1 Carrier will be taken down are going to be pushed to the brink the nexus Surely to fall, no one standing for T1. <laughs> and there it is, the alpaca. This entire year. I know what I'm going to say. Out the R5 LeBlanc. Let's see how it goes as we hop into the rip. Is the real question as one will do it. And they take him down. And first blood goes to perfect. Oh, beautiful. Sits patiently, finds the ult. The cleanup is there. And a 1-0 stop for the Camille. That are going to be slept up, but BDD finds Baker. Trying to bait Zeus in as well, and that's a massive bullet time. But in goes Zeus, finds BDD. The first one to go down will be Owner. And now we've got Zeus caught in the pit amongst four of them. It's going to dash away as Guma finally makes his way over. Carrier are going to be caught by BDD as well, and KT. And here comes BDD behind them all as Carrier is going to find the LeBlanc and give them some time. Damage is done, though, to Zeus. Oh, 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 perfect. He will live, and BDD is still here. He's looking. Barrel just trying to throw himself into it and bait them into this fight. As Ingo's perfect, keeps Zeus around, but he dodges. That sets one. The ultimate lines up too. He's still alive, but down he goes. Trade of top laners as now BDD is coming up, trying to punish Carrier here, and it looks like T1 are just gonna let it go. That's another kill over to BDD's LeBlanc. He is now three and zero. Running. A lot of running and skipping and hopping, and it's trying to dodge it. Blasts away from Pioshik. Pioshik taking a huge amount of damage, but in comes Depth to try to trade it back, and they will get the kill. But 15 man. tower hits tank there, feels like by Pioshik, but T1 are just playing for the objectives, and it's working. All right, well, this is a Lilia. Can they actually get him down? Nice catch by Barrel Owner. In a lot of trouble. Just gonna accept his fate and just try to hit the turret, I suppose. Does a little bit of damage, but Depth will be fed over a kick. He goes back. back, perfect, he followed! And that might be the end of him, as KT are in a lot of trouble. Ingo's owner looking for a bit more. Barrel is caught out. Down will go BDD. T1, they find the angle in the fight, and Def gets roped into it as well. And Pioshik, the only one to get out here. As it turns out, it was just... Goes in, Carrier looking for a bit more. Oh! Sniped by Kuma! And that might just do it. It's two kills to the Jin. And look at this, BDD's going to go down as well. It's three kills just like that. Get the angle. They're just trying to do it. T1, they want to go to Worlds. Will they be able to? All they got to do is take down the Nexus, and they will. It, it really is. And Corky gets his win.